Alright, hey guys, Five here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to edit the intro video. Um, it's not gonna be the exact same because, um, that intro is actually from my previous video. If you guys wanna check that out, it's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, just check it out if you want to. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be the exact same because, unfortunately, I kinda deleted the, uh, clip when I was actually trying to clear out some stuff on my PC but I got another uh, background that we're gonna be using actually and uh, so yeah first of all you just wanna get your uh, clips and stuff so uh, it's actually in the link in the description if you guys wanna check that out and we'll, you kinda need to to be able to do this so yeah just check the description when you open that up you wanna grab go to the alphabet part and you want to get the part that says highlights it's, you, you want to get the words that spell highlights so h i or g g l we already have i g h and we need t and s so that's pretty much everything grab all of that and drag it onto sony vegas right there yep. yeah you, you have to make your own project media that way you can drag stuff in so yeah pretty much grab all of that drag it in there and then depending on what highlights you have it could be your ninth highlight your tenth highlight for me my next video is going to be the eleventh highlight so i'm just going to write put one um but since in the video it says highlight number 10 i'll just you know make it highlight number 10. so yeah we have everything we need right here and also we're going to need one more thing and i'm also going to link, link this in the description below it's called your uh i don't remember i don't know what's happening to me right now uh, it's called displacement map. There we go. You need a displacement map. I will link it in the description to my Google Drive. And yeah, so first of all, you want to drag your displacement map down here. I'm sorry if I'm speaking too fast. You guys can just like slow down the video or something. I'm really trying to like not. I don't want this video to take so long. So yeah, uh, it's gonna have an audio as well. So you just delete that. You don't need the audio part. So yeah, it's up here. Um, now okay this is actually crazy so now you're gonna have to make 10 different um actually one sec all right so now so we have our uh, displacement map right here what i want you guys to do next is actually add 11 video tracks i know it sounds weird but just if you guys follow me you should be chilling uh so yeah just do this 11 times just keep inserting video tracks so that's two yeah just do that 11 times all right, so I just added 11 audio tra um, video tracks. Now you want your displacement one to be all the way at the top. You know, you want it to be the first one because it's gonna overshadow everything else we're doing, and we're gonna need this displacement effect on top of all of the clips. All right, now scroll all the way down. Actually, if you want, you can actually add actually just add two more um, video tracks. That's my fault because we need one for the hashtag and two more for the numbers. So. That's an additional one right there, because hashtag one zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, what ne what next is we're gonna need to drag all of our clips. But before we do that, what I would like us to do is actually focus on the background first. So you want to go into your whatever you keep keep your clips, drag um a good thing. Oh my god, there's so much static drag a good uh clip something for you guys well this one is what i'm going to use be using i had to go back in a um replay mode to go record a whole different clip so that's why it might not be the exact same so yeah we should be using this one i believe okay yeah so i'm gonna grab this clip right here nope not this one sorry this clip right here let's go 1807 um, yeah this clip right here I'm going to drag this on the timeline actually I'll just drag it right here so yeah we've got this clip right here so what I want you guys to do is put this clip over here just drag it into one of these for a second and you can remove your audio or whatever you don't need that at the moment now we can move this displacement map away for now since we're just trying to work with this clip now I'm gonna just you know trim my clip to where exactly I want it to begin and I'll see you guys there so here is going to be here's my clip actually that I'm going to be using and I've also got the song right here mood by 24 oh, 24k golden mood um, so yeah that's that I'm actually gonna pull this all the way down here the video all the way until the last uh, video track that we have 
and we want the music right below it that's the audio track so now let's start so uh, just sync up the part that you want to begin with you can actually add the music right here since it begins right here so let's see what it looks I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so yeah what we're pretty much doing here is just syncing everything so you guys can take some time to do that and I'll see you when I've synced my clip so I've already synced all my clips and this is what it looks like Yeah, I know it's pretty short, but you know, it's just you guys can do it however you like. But just this just is an example. So yeah, this is the clip I'm going to be using. I've already got my background clip or my replay mode clip, whatever you want to call it, and I've got the song in the back, the song as well. So now that we have those, what we want to have next is now we want to um pretty much uh, add an effect that I like to add to the clip. It's not necessarily an effect, but just follow along it helps the clip pop out even more so right now over here at the preview screen I can make this full screen quality looks bad because you know just to conserve RAM and everything so the PC can run very smoothly so right now as you can see the video isn't actually as colorful you guys might think this is colorful but after this this can actually help your video pop out a lot more and in my last uh, how-to video I actually showed uh, a lot of this so right here you just want to click on the track effects and you want to go over here to Vegas and follow my uh, steps so you want to hold CTRL or control on your keyboard so hold down control and select the following the this uh, saturation adjust and sharpen so Vegas color corrector secondary sharpen and saturation adjust and make sure it's secondary for the color corrector not the other one so yeah and you can let go of control add and okay now this way it adds this to the timeline now just follow my presets right here I titled mine FN and this is the presets for this so just follow this preset saturation adjust FN as you can see right here it's changing uh, what the clip is gonna look like right here just follow uh, the presets right here and for sharpen I also named this FN and right there you guys can see how beautiful the clip look right now so let's look at it with and without it so I'm gonna uncheck all of these you guys can see it actually looks uh, quite dull if you want me to I'm gonna move this to a way we can actually see the whole clip now right here you can see what it looks like with without the color corrector and now let's just check all of these and add them to it and just well that just pops out a lot more and it's quite beautiful so yeah that's just a tip for you guys this isn't from lmgk or anything but i did some research on youtube and it actually quite works so yeah if you guys want to add that to your videos that would be awesome and yeah we have that set up so right now what we want to do next is now you can scroll all the way back up drag your displacement map all the way to the left side and now we're going to work on the um lettering i'm gonna so what i want you guys to do is grab your displacement map and again if you guys don't know where this is it's in the link in the description everything we're pretty much going to be using right here is going to be in the link in the description um so yeah track your displacement map all the way up top remember it should be the first clip all the way up top and now i want you to start grabbing the letters so first of all we have the first letter because these letters all spell highlights now grab this right here and you don't necessarily have to use it you know to spell highlights it could literally spell edited by or but you know just because like the font and what the text looks like it would pretty much be best to spell stuff like an intro kind of thing all right so first of all right here hover over your uh displacement map and i want you to um over here where it says uh compositing mode hold click that and go into custom under custom I want you to look for and you, it's under Vegas right here click on Vegas and when you click on Vegas I want you to go to where it says Vegas displacement map click on that add and okay now after you do that what you want to do is get this preset down right here and there you go that's the preset you want to hold you want to set that to and close that out now if you notice the background clip is probably not showing but here's what you need to do now as soon as you do that I want you to set every single video track that's under this num track number one I want you to set it as a child 
to the compositing mode so that i know it sounds weird but just do this follow what i'm saying so right here if you hover over the second clip it says make compositing child so just click on that and do that for each and every clip below it oh and guys i just realized that instead of making audio um video tracks i mistakenly created a whole bunch of audio tracks instead so i'm redoing that right now all right so now i am done making all of these clips the child of the compositing child of the very first one and now they should look like this so from clip number two all the way down to the very last one before our video clip should be under um the very first one so it should look like this pretty much and uh and uh, yeah, f and uh, yeah. So for you guys, if you aren't able to see these buttons, by the way, all you just need to do is uh, hold this part where it says more in any of those folders or on any of these um, track of tracks layers right here, and uh, just click the three lines and where it says edit visible button set, and just check where it says compositing mode. Whatever we're going to be using, if you don't find it here, you can just check it, and then it should show up right there. All right. Uh, so yeah, now that we've done that, um, we have our H. So I want us to start off with that. Um, hold up, let me drag my clip into place right here at the start. And since this is where it starts right here, hold up. I'm going to actually sync where I want the H to start from. Okay, we might as well just start the H from where the clip starts from so I'm gonna start the H from right here I'm gonna put a marker just to know where the letters are gonna start from so I scroll all the way up and start the H off right here okay and for the displacement map what you want to do with that pretty much is everything set up already it just gives it that like how do I put this that floaty ish look like the H is like moving pretty much, it, but not. I don't know. Just take a look at it. Just pay attention to the H on the screen. As you guys can see, it's like moving. It's pretty cool. But without the displacement map, it's just plain and it's not moving. But with the displacement map, it's pretty good. So yeah, what you want to do is hold Control and drag your displacement map for as long as it'll fit your desired whatever. So yeah, right there we have the H. Now, what you want to do is have that H. Make sure your uh. Uh, playback thingy God, I can't talk today your playback thingy is at the start of where your clip is starting and I want you to click on this square thing right here it's the event pan crop button and remember if you don't find that button right there you can always press your edit visible set and then you can click on it right there so event pan crop now make sure now we're just gonna actually start needing to work with uh, keyframing so you can just scroll down on your scroll wheel and then we just have to position the H very well to fit wherever you'd like it to fit on your screen. So I'm going to start cropping it right now as you can see in the top right corner in our preview tab. It's just like bringing it and making it smaller and smaller and you know just going to make it as small as you possibly want to and I'm going to keep it at the center of the screen. So we got to move it all the way to the left side because it's going to be the first word in spelling highlights and yeah here you go put the h right there all the way on the left side and just like that you have that done now all you just want to do is you just want to like repeat the same thing for each and every one of the other letters but i'm also going to walk you guys through that because that's what i'm pretty much doing right now helping you guys out do that so now we have the i so hit the same button again the crop and edit button reduce the size of the i boom just bring it all the way down here now in the um preview video at the start you guys saw like the um letters were pretty much moving and now the way you can do that is uh so let's say we want to start uh, we want to start the eye all the way at the bottom right here let's actually move the eye first let's keep the eye yeah, about right there is good and uh let's add the g so we're good for the g we're gonna make it start um we're gonna actually make it do an animation where it like starts from the bottom and then moves into place. So right here, we, first of all, you wanna make sure your uh, 
preview button thingy your playback button is all the way at the left side it's just it's at the start because everything every time you move something in a new playback like what i'm going to move this g for example and keep an eye out on my playback right here as soon as i move it boom it creates a new keyframe and that kind of messes it up and if i'm to play it it kind of like messes everything so you just want to like delete that and keep your playback button at the start and yeah so let's just reduce the size of the g as much as we possibly can and put the g right about here and eventually you just want to like fast forward this this sorry and once you do let the g just and then you can just position the g to wherever you'd like it to be so now we can play that back and let's see how that looks or i can just do this so it starts out right here and it just like comes up that is just, that's pretty much how you do that it's not really too hard so let's preview the clip and see how it goes yep that's pretty much that now let's move on to the next one the h So right here we just drag the H again. That's H I G H for highlights. Uh, sync it up with the rest of them. Press the edit crop button again. You just want to make sure you uh, reduce the size as much as you possibly can. You can always scroll down with your uh, scroll wheel, guys. That helps out a lot. Uh, yeah, and the more you scroll out with your scroll wheel, pretty much the better it is. Uh, so yeah just to yeah oh yeah that's about good h is in the right spot uh you know just to be creative a little bit we can drag the h up here so it just falls into place right after the g so we just pull the h right to where you'd like it to be and uh, that's that's pretty cool uh, in my in my opinion so yeah we can do that and if we play it back it pretty much looks like this the H and the G just come together from opposite sides. Now that's pretty dope. Let's start it off again. Play it for you guys. See what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty dope. And move on to the next one. All right, now this is another timeline. Uh, not no, another track. Sorry. And what's next? That's high. This L. L's next. Pull the L down. Do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna skip it. You know, just so you guys see how I'm doing it. It's pretty fun to do. I know uh just drag this if you're pretty confused on where you want to position the l if you want you can just drag this preview button all the way over here i know it's going to create a new keyframe but just keep looking and if you want to like position it right there you find out where you want it to be increase the size and all of that or reduce the size and all of that um then even though it creates a new keyframe you can just delete the very first keyframe right there and drag this one all the way to the back and this is just your new keyframe so i'm gonna leave this l right there because i don't want everything to be moved you know what i mean and we can actually just do a fading effect with the l right here so i'm gonna just actually i'm gonna fade it in from the start so while everything else is like pretty much going into place oh my god what? while everything is pretty much going into place the l is just gonna as you can see is just gonna fade in from there just to create like you know something different so let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, off to the next one, the eye in the highlights. Drag that down, do the same thing, event crop, drag the video out, just to uh, cr crop the size. If you guys wanna see where you can position the eye, just fast forward this a little bit and just position it to where you'd like it to be. Again, I know it creates a new keyframe right here, but you, you can just delete the start frame and replace it with this one that we're setting right now and make the eye a bit smaller and yeah that's it i'm gonna drag this delete it and then drag the keyframe all the way to the start and uh, maybe we make an effect with this one i don't know nah just leave it all right we're chilling and we've got the eye and then next is g do the same exact thing guys and now we want to um, edit it out crop it make it as small as we possibly can or as small as you would like it to be all right and let's see best place to position the G would be 
pretty much right here. Maybe make it make it a little bit bigger. Uh, that was pretty good, if you think. And let's delete that. Replace the keyframe in the start. And yeah, for small movements, if you like want to move your G around or your letter around or anything you're doing, your video, whatever, for small movements, you can scroll in and then move it. it moves it very slow. But if you're trying to do very quick movements, if you zoom out, the more you zoom out, the faster you can move it around, as you can see. But yeah, I'm trying to do small movements, so yeah, I'm going to just control Z that back to where it was. Alright, and for this one, we're going to do a uh, transition. So we can move it. You can see the G and H falling into place. Um, I think we should start it right here. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, just control Z. Sorry, let's start all over. So, uh, we should do a transition effect with the G. And um, we could just start the G right here as well. And we could just pull it right back there with the rest of the clips. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's good so far. And now the H again in highlights. Boom, drag that to the uh, track, do the exact same thing. And my mistake, you want to make sure this is at the start. But another good thing is to keep it at the middle too, just to, you know, see where the H should fall in place. And then you could always delete the very first one and replace it. So scroll, scroll out, make the H smaller. And drag it to exactly where you'd like it to be in the line of letters right there's pretty cool and replace the start oh. replace the keyframe and that's that we can also do an effect with uh, um, fade in effect with the H as well I'm gonna put that a little in front of the L so while the L is fading in the H like fades uh, the H fades in first right after And next up is uh, in highlights is the T. So just pull the T right there. Do the exact same thing again. Crop it out. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, right there. So just uh, do the exact same thing. Make it smaller. as you possibly can. I'm just going to put this right here to know exactly where in line the T should fall. Probably going to make the T a little bit bigger. I don't know. I might decrease the size on the H and the I at the beginning. It's pretty large. Um, And I don't really like how large those are. And please don't say that's what she said. Uh, I kind of just said that. Screw me. Alright. And the T should be... The T is just vibing right there, low key. Yep. We can do an effect with the T as well. Let's just delete that and keyframe it right there. Um, actually, yeah, we could just keep the keyframe right there and do an effect with it as well. The, key, the T could start up from up here and eventually join up with the rest of the letters in the center. pretty much it for the T. I don't know if we should add an S to highlight. Highlights number 10. Highlight number 10. I actually have no clue. What do I usually do? What? Well, yeah, we might as well just go on and add an S to highlights and do the exact same thing, guys. Um, crop it out to where you'd like the S to be then just position it with the other letters 
where the S should perfectly fit. That seems alright. S should be vibing right there, Loki. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Highlights, drag this all the way back there. And we've got the highlights. And we can play it from the start or actually, uh, unfortunately I need to add another video track. I'm gonna sync that too. Okay, so we have, now we, have, we need the numbers pretty much. So we have one and we have we're gonna add zero but first of all let's work with the one here so drag the one I want the one to be at least larger than the rest of the text so put that down here in the bottom right mm, seems like a good spot once Loki just vibing down there drag the zero same spot Reduce the thing size, drag it right next to the 10. I don't like the way the letters are both facing each other. So what I like to do is uh, just turn it from up here. Just come up here and yeah, turn it. It looks better this way. So yeah, highlights number 10. Maybe let the zero go into the one a little bit. And that's pretty cool. Uh, my fault. You have to make sure the keyframes are starting from the beginning of the clips as well. Now we can play it from the start and see what it looks like. That's a bit laggy. Also, just to we can pre-render it. Highlight your clips and hold Shift B. That pre-renders your video stuff. But I don't know why it's not working. But yeah, pre-render it for a little bit. Hold Shift B. There we go. It's working now. Shift B and let's see what it looks like. That's pretty good. That's really, really good. <sighs> yeah, it just pre-renders it right now just so we know what it looks like. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, for the H at the start, I'm just going to re reduce the size of it a little bit. It's pretty large. Not don't really like it. I'm not re I don't really like how large that is. Yeah, the H in the start, I'm going to reduce the thing of that right there, the size, because it's pretty large and I don't really like how big it is there. Just going to put that back there. And then the I right here as well is pretty large as well, so I'm just going to reduce the size of this too. Sorry, I. Alright, there we go. And we're pretty much done, guys. I, I really hope I helped you guys out. I really do. Um, let's preview once more. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And also another trick to... Well, it's, it's the same thing I showed you guys earlier that you did with the uh, um, video track right here where you added the color corrector and everything. If you add it to this... It looks amazing. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like with the color corrector on it. Uh, here's my previous video that I made. I'm not gonna spoil it because I want you guys to go watch it. It's pretty dope. And I'm just gonna make it full screen as you can see the colors actually popping out. This is the my uh, previous video fully rendered and everything. And this is what it looks like with the effects on it. 
just looks pretty cool and the colors pop out a lot so all you just have to do for that one is um go, but it's i don't know if i'm gonna go over it here but all you have to do is pretty much just go to each and every um track that the letters are on right here hold the three buttons track fx and hold um control left control color corrector secondary saturation adjust and sharpen add okay and you know just follow the presets i showed earlier right here are my presets same thing for saturation adjust fn as you can see this is just for the first h and the color is changing a little bit and this is my other presets for the saturation adjust and sharpen keep an eye on the h and how it just pops out after i add this and boom the h is far much more rare than it was i'm gonna unselect all these and if you keep an eye on this first h you're gonna see what it looks like without this color corrector see the color just goes back to what it was before dull but then when i add all of these it just pops out and then looks like my previous videos like if you guys want to check that out as well and yeah that's pretty much it with this i really hope i was able to help you guys out i really do um thank you guys for the support you've showed me in my videos if you like make sure you subscribe and everything i'd really appreciate it. it means a lot to me guys and thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you guys and i love you all and uh yeah don't forget to check out that video that i just called out it's called i think i titled it uh so i edited a video a video better than lmg game blah, blah, blah. not really and it's not clickbait either but i didn't really mean that i edited it better than lmgk but yeah it's just for the views <laughs> and uh, yeah so yeah you guys just like subscribe and all of that and i hope to see you in the next video peace boys